Today, the human population of Earth has exceeded 8 billion people. Humanity has spread far and wide across the globe, inhabiting practically every corner of our planet. From desert to mountains, farms to cities, it seems almost unimaginable that there was ever a time in our history where our existence as a species was ever under threat. What we have to remember, however, is that our kind has been around for a very long time. Today's estimates sit at circa 200,000 years. This modern civilization that we all live in today is less than a percentage of our overall history. When we think back to when civilization and our recorded history first began to form, scholars and scientists alike always point to 10,000 BC onward. Everything before is known as prehistory or prehistoric. One reason for this is a mass extinction of prehistoric megafauna and an abrupt cooling of our planet in the millennia before the year 10,000 BC. It all points towards a global cataclysm, which has become known as the Younger Dryas. The Younger Dryas is a fascinating period in Earth's history that occurred approximately 12,900 to 11,700 years ago. Named after a small pale yellow flower, Dryas octopatella, which is characteristic of cold environments, this abrupt and relatively brief climatic event had significant impacts on the planet's ecosystems and human civilizations. The Younger Dryas is widely regarded as a period of extreme cooling, interrupting the gradual warming trend that followed the last ice age. It was characterized by cooler average temperatures that returned parts of Europe and North America to its ice age conditions. The onset of the Younger Dryas took less than a hundred years, and the period persisted for roughly 1,300 years. After the period ended, an interval of rapid warming followed, and average temperatures increased to near present-day levels. The cause of the Younger Dryas remains a topic of fierce scientific debate, with several theories proposed to explain this climatic anomaly. One prominent hypothesis is the impact of a comet or asteroid, which would have triggered a series of catastrophic events. It is believed that the impact would have released immense amounts of dust and debris into the atmosphere, blocking sunlight and causing a rapid cooling effect. This would have also led to the mass extinctions we know happened during this period. This hypothesis is probably the most disputed among scientists, but at the end of the day, no one knows for sure what happened, so it should not be dismissed out of hand. The prevailing hypothesis at the moment is that the Younger Dryas occurred during the transition from the last glacial period into the present interglacial, known as the Holocene. During this time, the North American or Laurentide ice sheet was rapidly melting and adding fresh water to the ocean. Scientists have hypothesized that, just prior to the Younger Dryas, Meltwater fluxes were rerouted from the Mississippi River to the St. Lawrence River. Geochemical evidence from ocean sediment cores supports this idea, although other possible routings such as to the Mackenzie River cannot be ruled out presently. A more northerly routing of meltwater has a greater impact on the salinity and density of the surface ocean in the North Atlantic which can cause a slowing of the ocean's thermohaline circulation and climate changes around the world. Thermohaline circulation describes the movement of ocean currents due to differences in temperature and salinity in different regions of water. Multiple findings indicate thermohaline circulation changes occurred during the Younger Dryas. Eventually, as the meltwater flux abated, the thermohaline circulation strengthened again and the climate recovered. Before the Younger Dryas, North America was home to the world's biggest population of megafauna. 
including woolly mammoths and saber-toothed tigers. Altogether, around 15 genera of species went completely or near extinct. This extinction event can be dated precisely to 12,900 years ago, and they account for 75% of these megafauna species in North America at the time. The conditions of the Younger Dryas had a huge impact on those living on the planet at that time. Human populations have been found to have been depleted, or in some cases, completely disappeared. In this period, the Clovis culture of North America was nearly wiped from the record, with only a few tribes surviving. Fossil records reveal a distinct layer of Clovis remains that date back to the Younger Dryas. The numbers then plummeted, presumed perished as the ice sheet melted and the temperatures changed. The Clovis culture was a dominant human population throughout North America at this time. Their sudden disappearance provides evidence that there may have been a cataclysmic cause of the Younger Dryas. We cannot say for certain what caused the Younger Dryas, but we know however it was caused, it had huge implications for our ancestors and the species living alongside us. It changed the world and its ecosystems and paved the way for our modern civilization to emerge. In the future, Maybe more evidence will come to light, but for now, we can just speculate and wonder what came before. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.